guys, this is Mongoose here, back again for another episode of Jolt or Adult. And today I'm going to be playing a game called... Odd... Dark Horror Escape. That just needs to load up. Uh, do 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 Okay, so I know I don't talk very much in these games, guys, and I will try to do a little bit better, but uh this is my first time trying out a webcam, you know, it's a horror game makes sense to have webcams so you guys can see my reactions. I think they're using a similar soundbite that I've used in the closing credits of, of my Halloween uh, specials. Ooh, listen to that music. Isn't that cringe creepy? Yeah. Uh, I have the same nightmare every night. Was that it? Okay, so this is a point-and-click game, as I can see. As you can see. Uh, Graphics-wise, it's it's decent enough, very similar to that of a visual novel or something like that. Uh, there seems to be a soda can down here that I can't interact with. Or, never mind. I can. Okay, there was something hidden behind the f soda can. Okay. Okay, so far it's not that terribly scary, except for, you know, the, the creepy artwork and the, and the music. The music's certainly building the atmosphere. Okay, got a vase. Don't know what a vase is needed for, or a pillow. Don't you quit on me, Firefox. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything else in this room. I see that there's a 6 out of 20, and then there's also a timer thing. Huh. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's a puzzle. That startled me a little bit. That girl's incredibly creepy looking. I hope she doesn't actually come to life. What? Is that a smaller flashlight? Huh. Okay, that was rather creepy. And I didn't see that before when I was first in this room. I don't know what these purple things are, but they certainly are collectibles of some sort. Another one of those puzzles. I'll be there in a second. A mirror? Like I need a mirror? Ooh, okay, dokie. Am I... Is this the attic or some sort of secret room? Okay, that's interactable. Or at least it should be interactable, but nothing happens when I click it. Oh, dude. Do, 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 do. What happened here? What's going on? Why am I in this creepy ass house? And what is this little white thing?
for some of these items. No, I didn't want to do that. Uh, what are some of these items? What are their purposes? No, stupid... Stupid internet. Ah, uh, Stop interrupting my gameplay. Well, okay, let's check this out. Picture puzzles are actually quite simple. Don't have to slide them around, you just have to twist them in the right angle. <sighs> Another one of these things. I have no clue what these things are, but I've, I've got three of them. Let's go in here. Is this the basement? Have I gone in the basement? I can't take the bottles of wine! Aw, poo! I could really use those bottles of wine. Is that a Bible? What is this, a Bible? Weird. It's locked. The door is locked, guys. Ooh. Okay, that just takes me back out here. Okay, I'm gotta be missing something because I'm not entirely sure what the heck is going on let me check real quick to make sure my stuff is still recording properly uh, yep that's working and, uh, that's working okay so there's gotta be something something might work with this Okay, yeah, a mirror. Okay, now I'm in a very creepy underground with a TV that has a code on it. How am I supposed to figure out the code? Unless the code is hidden on one of these things. Just a pillow. A creepy TV where the writing cursor appears when I hover over it. There's gotta be something else in this house that has the code. So otherwise, I don't know what to. I can't do anything. Do we see? Anything, anything that could be a code. Z R A Q? What does Z R A Q stand for? Is that. The point in the alphabet? So. No. No, these numbers don't go that high. C R A Q C R A Q Z R A Q C R A Q Does that have to do with a phone keypad? Let's see. Where are the what are those num what are those letters on the phone keypad? Uh, that would be 9 um 7 uh Seven. 
that correct? 9727? That's not very helpful. 9727. That. I don't know what the code's supposed to be. One, two, that's a five digit code. Okay, that's clearly not it. Nine, Sark. There's gotta be something else with some more clues. Something I missed. Something in here? Codes B. I don't have a key to open this book with. So it's not the position on the keyboard. Uh, it's not this. This is what made the most sense to me. There's gotta be something that has a clue as to what I need to do. But I've clicked everywhere. <laughs> Maybe there's, there's something I'm missing. Something I can do with these weird last lights. Nope. I'm really confused now. What am I supposed to do? How do I figure the code out? How do I figure the bloody code out? And then there's this code down here. Is there anything on the vase? Or on in this book? This locked book? Or on this pillow? Not that I could see. Um. CRAQ is a clue of some sort, and I'm just not getting it. There's gotta be something else interactable that I missed. Yes, and that soda can defies gravity.
What is Z-R-A-Q? What am I supposed to fucking do? Uh, what is your answer? Why do I have this, this, and this? What do they do? Or this? A knife? I got myself a knife. A hairpin. <gasps> Finally! Okay, now we A is two, Z is five. So five. Nine, two, three, five, nine, two, three, five, nine, two, three. A key! Yay! Finally, I'm getting somewhere. That was loud. So for nothing, horrors jumped out at me. This is too creepy. You said that right. But the fact that that's interactable. Another one of those, eh? It's locked. There's no letters at this one. To give clue as to what I need to do with it. Apart from this door, I'm assuming this is the door I have to get out of. But, um... Well, guys... I think I might actually call it here. Well, so that was Dark Horror Escape. And the only really thing that escaped was the horror. Yeah, it builds a creepy atmosphere with the, with the, with the music and the creepy areas and yes it startles you a few times with some noises and stuff like that but I was really expecting something more than more than this just the simple point and click puzzle game that's really what it was a point and click puzzle game and some of them weren't even that easy to figure out and uh but oh man I finally did figure that out but, and I'm pretty sure it came damn close to the end of the game. Um, and nothing that terribly scary popped up. No, nothing chased me. Nothing really got at me. Uh, I, I had no reason why I was in this house or what was purpose or, 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 or anything. I was, and so the game kind of got boring. So, I mean, yeah, the puzzles are fun. But the horror aspect was completely lost. So I would have to say Dark Horror Escape was adult. I wouldn't play it again. I certainly don't recommend others playing it. And this is Mongoose here signing off. Bye bye.